guys, shy my babes, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I do everything from beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. And today we are going to be doing a heels collection. And um, also besides that, I'm going to talk about my adoption story. Um, someone that I'm subscribed to on here, which I will pop her name up right here i don't remember her name just because she just changed her youtube name so i don't remember it and i will pop it up here she was talking about how she was um also adopted and how we should share our stories um i mean i've told people like closer to me like friends that i've had in the past that i was adopted but like i never really talk about it on social media that much like i don't really go into it but I think what we're going to do is I'm going to, like, show a pair of shoes, talk a little bit about them, and um, then I'm going to talk about, like, my adoption story. The lights aren't working right now because I have to have my phone plugged in right now while it's on my ring light, so no lights. I'm so sad. I really want my light showing, but let's hop into it. So, I actually got a new pair of shoes. And I'm excited. This is going to be the unboxing of it. Um... I actually got it, or got these from a store by the mall called Val Shoes. Now, story behind these shoes. Um, me and my daughter and son was watching White Chicks the other day, and one of the girls had the cutest pair of boots. One of the white chicks had the cutest pair of boots. I'm like, I have to have those boots. So I went online to try to find them. I seen that other people were trying to find them, and. I went on Shein to try to find something similar. I could not find them. Tell me, I went into the store. It's a shoe store, but it's like it's kind of like a beauty supply store. I went in there looking for like cheap jewelry and some lipsticks, and then I saw these. But at first, I didn't see these. I seen them in rose gold and white. Then I seen they had pink and white, and I was like, those are just like the shoes I wanted from White Chicks. But um, here they are. Look at these beauties. And my style is very different, so, I don't know, if you're any different, you may not, like, I always be wondering, like, do people like my style? Because my style is definitely way different than, those are girls that are very, like, just, I don't want to say basic, because that's not, like, nice. But they like more, like, neutral colors and stuff like that. I like fun different things. But anyways, these are it. And these are so cute. Um, I didn't try them out, though. But I didn't tell my man I didn't try them on because they were the only size. They, just, they had two pairs left, six and a half or seven. Normally I wear it seven, seven and a half, or eight. So I'm really hoping they fit because if they don't, I probably will cry. And I'm not even going to try them on right now because that's how like, nervous I am about them not fitting. Okay, so um, I was adopted when I was two. Officially adopted when I was two. But the family that adopted me, um, I've all, I was always with. So they were my like foster parents before I was ever adopted. Um, my biological mom was only 15 when she had me. And my biological father, oh yeah, and my biological, not that it matters because race is whatever, who cares, but my mom was white and my dad was black. So he was like a big time um, drug dealer and he got my mom into a lot of bad, my biological mom into a lot of bad situations, I guess you could say. And her parents, her mom passed away from, um, what is it called? Emphysema or something like that. Something that has to do with, like, breathing or whatever. When she was young, because obviously she was only 15 when she got me. Her father was very prejudiced and racist. Her, that she could not bring a black baby home. So, let's go on to the next pair of shoes and then I'll finish up the story. Pair of shoes I have. These ones. This is what I wear for my, like, outfit today. Um, well, I don't really, I wore them for my TikTok video, my styling TikTok video. Someone said on there, I was tacky. I'm like, girl, it's my style, my yours. If you don't like it, oh, well, you're not wearing it. Um, But yeah, so I wore these for that, and I, you know, didn't go nowhere today besides pick up my daughter from school, and I did not want to walk all the way to her school. It's only a block away, but still, I don't want to walk. 
It's our school. Anyways, but they are so cute. They look like a disco ball. I really wanted those one um, viral boots that were going around. I probably attached a picture because I don't really know how to explain that. Oh yeah, I think they're called mirror boots. I wanted those and then I seen these on Sheen. That time Sheen didn't have any mirror boots. So I just picked these up. And I think they're really cute. They have like the slouchy look going on. I really like these. I think they're very cute. Okay. So um, what I was told is my adoptive parents now was like my biological mom's like foster parents or whatever. And they said like she could stay here. And I don't know cause how much of this is true because like who knows what's true. Exactly what's true. But anyways, um, it said that she was um, my their foster child or something or they said she could stay here. But she had to um, leave her, my biological father. So the courts also told her that she couldn't be around him and um, that she had to pass a drug test in order to um, be able to like keep me. Um, well, she ended up failing the drug test and she failed for cocaine. Um, cause I ended up meeting her, like, when I was 20, what was I, I think 21, and I asked her about some things, but like I said, it, who really knows what's true, or, cause I'm hearing different things from both sides, so, um, she told me that she was helping my dad, like, handle them, and they seeped through her skin or something, so that she failed, but I also read, like, um, some of my adoption papers and it said she abandoned me in the hospital which is crazy because she had a c-section and she just like walked out of the hospital but anyways they ended up terminating her rights and then um i was adopted by a family i'm with now me and my like adoptive mom have had a really rough relationship i'm not really going to talk too much about it though because i still live here with them and i just don't really want to get into it but um i feel like her personality and the way she raised me has kind of led me into being very introverted um what did say? introverted afraid to like tell people how i feel sometimes because i'm worried they're gonna get mad like a people pleaser i was just trying to like follow the rules and stuff so I always kind of even now I still kind of follow the rules there's some stuff and I was, so obviously no I wasn't like um a perfect angel like once I kind of hit my late 20s I kind of had like a little wild streak on but I've always pretty much been the type of person to try to follow the rules so I'm on duty but um yeah, so, I used to feel, I don't know, like I'm wanted, but all of a sudden from like, I always had like a good relationship with my, so I don't say adopted mom, she's my mom, like this is my family, so when I say mom, or uncle, I'm talking about my adoptive family. So anyway, I had a close relationship with my nana, which is my mom's mom, and papa, and like my uncles, my mom's brother. He, um, he's gay, so he had a boyfriend that's a celebrity hairstylist named Campavis. And they spoiled me so much and like, just taught me things and showed me things I would have never seen if it wasn't for them. And then it's like, once I, well, my Uncle Ken and Uncle Fred ended up splitting up. So, my Uncle Kenny didn't really want to talk to me because he broke up with my uncle. They broke up. And then my Uncle Freddie just, I don't know what happened. It's like, once I got older, 
my relatives start like stopped caring about me is how I feel because the bond was gone they don't really it was just like it was weird like it's like I have no family besides my kids my mom and dad and like my kid's father but I mean it really definitely hurts the soul when it's always just so easy for people to not have a relationship with you not want to have a relationship with you especially when you had a strong bond because then you start to feel like the bond was fake you know like it all was just fake and they felt bad for me because I was a kid and I was adopted or something but we're gonna move on to the next person so then I have these ones so I opted for these ones because um I really like the boots that look like these but it has a little um like lock on it but those ones are really expensive like they're kind of like one of my dream boots they are like my dream boots but they're just way too expensive so i seen these on sheen and i opted for these i thought they were really cute as you can tell a lot of my boots and shoes and heels are pink because i love pink i'm obsessed with pink it's my favorite color i also have these white ones um if you haven't noticed all of my heels are boots because i love boots i feel like boots are a lot easier to walk in and a lot more comfortable than just regular uh, yeah, mama, regular plain heels so i got these white ones because they really give me like a 70s vibe and i really want white shoes like a cute pair of white boots and they're laced too so I kind of really do like this type of style, if you guys haven't noticed. I love booties and just this type of style. I want to get white boots that are like longer, like more knee high-ish. I had a pair before and I lost them. There's so many cute boots that like, a lot of cute stuff. Not even just boots that I've lost from, because I used to move around a lot. You know, after me and my eldest son's father broke up I was kind of moving around a lot for a while so I ended up losing kind of a lot of stuff <laughs> but um so yeah I love those a lot of them are from Sheen too because I love Sheen and they have the cutest freaking shoes man <laughs> and I also got these ones these give me brats doll vibes for sure I got these from Sheen I've only worn them once though because they're pretty tight on my calves like yeah they're really tight on my calves and I have to like it's hard to zip them up they do zip up but you know I'm chunkier so it, they're tight <laughs> but I do plan on wearing them some more they're very cute like this is suede and then it has like the fur and then like the fake leather but definitely gives Brad style vibes. I got these really cute. I don't know what you call these duckbill heels. I'm wearing these like once as well. They are tie up ones. They you know tie up on your legs. They're really cute. Pastel pink and they're from Sheen as well. It says Sheen right here. But you can tell like that I've barely worn these. But they're really cute. I love pink. I swear it's like almost every shoe I've showed you guys is pink. <laughs> and I also have these. They're like holographic and then the clear heel. They're dirty though. I don't even want to show you guys a close up. Because they need to be clean. Um, these aren't comfortable though. They hurt. They hurt. I've actually went out in these. And yeah, they hurt. <laughs> these are from Fashion Nova though. I've had them for years now about my adoption and adoptive family is as i mentioned i am biracial black and white the family i was adopted into is all white yeah. i didn't mean to say like that. all white um 
So for a while it was kind of hard for me because, you know, obviously like I'm different. Um, just things like strange with things. It was just hard for me growing up. You know, I hated the skin I was in. Um, I wasn't happy that I had black in me because people were racist on my town. You know, because now that it's 2023, there's definitely a lot more diversity in the city. But back in like the 90s, early 2000s, there wasn't a whole lot of diversity, I would say. And just from what I experienced from people in the communities. Snake boots that I got from Fashion Nova. I actually got these when they were trending years ago. It's probably been like, I think like three years that they were trending. But I don't care, like, of course I like to keep up with the trends, but as long as something looks good and cute, I'm still wearing it, you know. I also got them in a lime green. They're like lime green, and then the toe part right here is um, cut out so you can see your toes. But they're at my boyfriend's house. A lot of my cute boots are actually there, which sucks because I maybe should have waited for those boots to show you guys because they're like kind of very like iconic type of boots. <laughs> but I'm just gonna show you what I have for now. But the lime green ones are from Fashion Nova as well. If I have like pictures in them, and the boots I'm talking about, I'll attach them. Also have a pair of black off, like pink. They're kind of like a hot pinkish. I don't know, like hot pinkish, mixed with a baby pink Louis Vuitton knee high boots. Gonna have um, replica Gucci boots. They're like tan, knee high ish or just a little bit below the knee. Um, what else do I have? Okay. I think I covered all like the boots that are at his house that I can think of right now. <laughs> and I have these cute um, authentic coach wedges. They're really cute. I got them for Christmas. Um, my boyfriend got them off of Poshmark. And, yeah, I believe they're authentic because you're not supposed to sell um, replica items on Poshmark or you can get in trouble. So, I don't wear them a lot though because this part right here is not tight enough around my ankle. So, I have to figure out, like, I have to take them somewhere to get fit. But they are really cute. I like them. So, then I got these booties a couple years ago when um, Fashion Nova was having a sale. They were really cheap. I don't wear them too often though because um, they become uncomfortable very quickly. They are these cheetah booties. You can see how it has like the little rhinestones. And then the zipper detail. And then it zips up in the back. Yeah, I just felt like I had have them because of the fact that they are cheetah print I love cheetah print or leopard print whatever you want to call them and I love these because they're comfortable I got them from rainbows for these clocks the only thing I don't like about them though is that they're slippery on the bottom they're very slippery on the bottom so you have to be careful when you're walking. So with this set I do have, I have another pair but they're kind of like buried. I don't really want to grab them out. Hi, <sighs> sorry, I need to start. Because when I do my videos, I kind of, I'm not really an organized person. I just do things for the moment and whatnot. So I don't really prepare for anything. I need to start like grabbing stuff out. But. And a lot of it, like I said, is at my boyfriend's house. But I'm going to attach pictures of those shoes if I can. I have to go through my Instagram and get those pictures. Follow me on Instagram, by the way, because I was at 6,000 followers. Now I'm at like 5,999. I was like past 6,000 followers. And it just kept dropping, dropping, dropping. I'm like, what is going on here? Not that it matters because who cares how many followers you got, but... I need more supporters, like I need more people I can interact on there, 
and we can like show each other love and whatnot because people just be hating. They don't show love for nothing. They don't want to support you. They don't want to see you win. I do though. I want to see people win. Yeah, sometimes it sucks when you see someone else winning. You're like, dang, when's it gonna be my time? But I'm the type of person like, even if I do feel that way, I'm still gonna support the person and like. You know, because obviously they work hard to get to where they're at. And that's why I'm just going to keep doing, keep posting. Posting consistently, even if people aren't really vibing with my stuff, eventually the right people will find my content and vibe with me. But thanks for watching my um, little heel collection and adoption story. Um, let me know what you think about this video. If you have any questions, comment down below. Go ahead and ask away. So that is all for this video today. Bye shiny babes and thanks for watching.